Hello, Anselm Griffin here again doing another YouTube tutorial uh, today featuring MATLAB. So just to give some IP credit, uh, this chap here um, from the University of New South Wales, I took the example I'm going to do for survey computations from his notes. And the question in particular is this one here. That's the same document and we're on page whatever it is, 22. You know, chapter 2, page 22, chapter 2, page 23. And we're doing tutorial question 1A. Okay, so that's the one we're going to do. And I've done it in MATLAB. So I can get rid of that. Get rid of that. And in a previous uh, tutorial, I did the same problem in Excel. And you see here, I've stepped it out. Step 1A, step 1B, etc. Step 2A. And... So I'm doing the same problem in MATLAB. So again, just in case you landed this, blues are input and reds are output. Okay, so we're going to have a little look at the MATLAB version of it. And I've published it here. And I've done my very best to get the documentation right and the comments right. So we're going to get bearing distances and latitude in the department um, from uh, Eastings and Nordings. So for that particular problem, now I'm not going to go into the surveying that much. So quick commentary. Uh, these are the inputs here. Easting of A, e Nording of A, Easting of B, Nording of B. Angle A, degrees, minute, seconds. Angle B, degrees, minute, seconds. Uh, I get the delta easting, I get the delta nording, I convert angle A to decimal degree, I convert angle B to decimal degree, and I get angle C by saying 180 minus angle A minus angle B. I get the bearing of AB in radians using ATAN, and we have to work out which quadrants you're in. I assume you know what I'm talking about. So we went to an if statement here with four possibilities. Quadrant 1, Quadrant 2, Quadrant 3 and Quadrant 4. And just here, just to take one of these for example, I want to use an, an, an AND statement. So in Quadrant 2, the uh, Delta E is negative and the Delta N is um, positive or here quadrant 3 uh, the delta E is um, negative and the delta N is negative so that's all I'm just saying I'll go through the four quadrants and then we'll work out the relevant angle here I use an F print F to print out the bearing AB correct to two decimal places I get the distance here just on that line there using Pythagoras. Then I determine side B using the sine rule. I'm not going through the derivation of the sine rule, that's for maths. And then I F print F the value out, correct the four decimal places. Then I get the bearing AC. Uh, it's detailed in the example and also in Excel. There I F print F out to three decimal places. And then I get, sorry, just to scroll down here a little bit here more. Then I've got the bearing AC in a decimal degree and I want to uh, convert it to degrees, minutes and seconds. And I use, I have truncate there, but I suppose, but truncate exists in Excel, but not in MATLAB. And the MATLAB version of truncate is fix. So that will give me the, the integer number of degrees this line here will give me the integer number of minutes and this line here will give me the decimal seconds you'll have to sit down and figure it out yourself uh, here on these three lines here I have print F out the degrees the integer degrees the integer minutes and the decimal seconds and then on this line here, 
I calculate the easting and denoting of point C. And finally here, I output that. Okay, so I hope that helps a little. And thanks very much for listening. Bye.